Happy Sunday and happy Father's Day. The time is 716. We are off to a fairly nice start to our morning. It is warm. It is humid. Temperatures at 83 degrees. Dew points in the upper 70s. Feels like the low 90s. Now most of us are dry under partly cloudy skies, but the Gulf of Mexico is starting to get a little busy with clouds and showers. That's because tropical moisture is heading in our direction starting today. So even right now, some small showers are moving through southeastern Louisiana and south Mississippi. They are very localized and tiny right now. So this is what we have for the morning. Mostly dry with a few spotty passing showers for the course of the morning. But then we get into the afternoon on your Father's Day and we'll see our increasing rain chances coming our way. So expect some scattered showers and storms today, especially in the afternoon and evening. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s this afternoon. Not quite as hot, but our humidity will be increasing today, so it is going to feel more muggy and humid, and that will be the trend throughout the new work week. As the tropical moisture continues to push into the central Gulf Coast around this high pressure, we'll continue to see the moisture with us into the early part of this week, and then by later Tuesday into Wednesday, that shifts off to the west as we're watching that Gulf development down into the southwestern Gulf. All that moisture pushing into Mexico and Texas, and we'll start to see some drier air move in locally finally on Wednesday. So by Wednesday, and Thursday here at home, we should see some drier weather coming our way. But as for today, the rain chances are increasing. We do have a soggy forecast today, but especially tomorrow. Monday looks like our wettest day. But getting through your morning, we'll have those passing showers and rumbles of thunder. It's certainly not going to be a washout. It will not be raining the whole time. But when the showers come through, they can be heavy at times, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. And then overnight should be mostly dry with maybe a stray shower or two. But then Monday we pick up again with the rain coming back in on your Monday morning. Times of heavy rain certainly possible on Monday. It looks like during the afternoon we could see some isolated flooding concerns on Monday with some heavy rain possible coming in waves during the afternoon and into the evening hours. Getting into Tuesday, that's when our rain chances start to decrease ever so slightly as the heaviest rain starts to push off to the west in southwestern Louisiana and closer to Texas. But we'll still keep some scattered showers and storms with us on Tuesday, especially closer to the coast and westward. So that'll be for Tuesday. Tuesday, not as wet. We'll start to see those lower rain chances getting into Tuesday and especially Wednesday. Could have a couple showers and storms around Wednesday, but overall heaviest rain threat continues to shift even more westward into Texas on Wednesday. So Wednesday and Thursday actually shaping up to be some better days in terms of our dryness factor. So mostly dry days expected for Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday rather. Here's our uh, five day rainfall forecast. So the heaviest rain still expected through Texas down into Mexico, even down to the southwest in the Gulf of Mexico and a closer look at our rainfall totals. Anywhere from one to three inches of rain is expected on the North Shore, three to five inches on the South Shore and really closer to the coast. We can see some locally higher amounts closer to the coast. And again, keep in mind our wettest days really look like today and especially Monday. Monday probably brings us our highest chance of rain. So today and tomorrow we are highlighted for a slight risk of excessive rainfall, meaning we could see some street flooding today. But I think really Monday we'll watch for some street flooding, especially. Here's a quick look at the tropics. There's that area in the southwestern Gulf we'll be watching. It's going to bring that moisture into South Texas and into Mexico going into the middle part of this week. Also, we'll watch for another area of development in the western Atlantic. Later in the week, we could see maybe a small feature moving closer to Florida by later this week. We'll keep an eye on that for you, though. No tropical threats expected for us besides the onset of that moisture that'll keep us wet going into this work week and breezy and humid.